In this video, I will show you how to extend Copilot for Microsoft 365 with prompt plugins in Copilot Studio. I will show you how to create a prompt plugin, how you can enable them, and how you can use them. Let's switch to my screen for a bit more information. There are multiple types of plugins for Copilot for Microsoft 365. On the screen are the Power Platform based plugins listed. We have prompt plugins, conversational plugins, connector plugins, and Power Automate plugins. In this video, we are going to focus on the prompt plugins. Prompt plugins are really useful when you want to, for instance, generate content with the AI and get some response from the AI. A couple of examples that you can use is summarizing a long text and extract the bullet points, tasks, or other useful content. Another example is creating a prompt that helps to moderate user-generated content. How do you develop your own prompt plugin? First, you need to make sure that a couple of prerequisites are already filled. The first one, is to have a Copilot for Microsoft 365 license, because you need that if you want to use prompt plugins in Copilot for Microsoft 365. Another one is that you need to be part of the preview of the plugins in Copilot for Microsoft 365. And then, when all that is finished, we have to deploy the Copilot Studio integrated app. You need to go to Microsoft Admin Center. You need to go to Settings, Integrated Apps, and Available Apps to search for Copilot Studio. You will see two apps in there. One of them is also for Copilot for Microsoft 365, and the other one is just for Teams. Make sure to enable the one that is for Copilot for Microsoft 365. Next, you want to create your prompt plugin. So you need to give the plugin a name and add one or more dynamic content fields. Next, you can test your prompt plugin, and you can do that inside of the prompt builder that you use to create your own plugin. Next, you also want to share your prompt plugin, because maybe whenever you have tried it out already and you're happy with it, you want other coworkers to also use your prompt plugin. You can do that through the sharing menu. And last but not least, you want to use your prompt plugin in Copilot for Microsoft 365. So make sure to open the Copilot app in Teams, open the plugin flyout, and enable the prompt plugin that you created under the Copilot Studio header. When you create your prompt plugin, you have to start by going to Copilot Studio, add an AI plugin. The top option, generate content or extract insights, is the one you want to choose. And then you will see the prompt builder. That's where you can write your prompt. When you're done with that, you also want to share it. And that's where you can share it. Let's go into the demo and show you how to create a prompt plugin. Let's create our first prompt plugin. I'm already in Copilot Studio, where I selected plugins in the menu. Here we can create a new AI plugin, and that will open a menu where we can choose which type of plugin we want to create. We'll go for the top one because that's the prompt plugin. When I select that, I get to see the prompt builder. And this is where I can name my prompt or where I can write my prompt. I can also test it over here when I am done creating my prompt. So let's go to the next page where we already have a prompt available in the sample solution gallery. This is a website where you can find a whole lot of prompts and I'll share the link in the description below. But in this case, we are gonna click view on GitHub. Here we can find our prompt and I can just copy the whole text. When I go back to the plugins overview, I can give it a name language detection and I can paste my prompt here. You will immediately see the yellow bar at the top that states that your prompt must have at least one dynamic value. 
And that's because there is no dynamic value currently here. If I want to change this, I can select the placeholder. I can add a dynamic value and I can make this a little bit more pretty and hit enter. And that will save my dynamic value. I also need to do a little bit with spacing because there was a little bit of a spacing issue in this prompt. But now I'm really happy with what is in this prompt. So what I can see here is, for instance, if I use the phrase, I have a dog, it will return EN instead of English US. It will just detect the language. So let's try that out and use that same sentence. I have a dog. Let's click on test prompt and see what will come out of it. And it says EN. But this is already in the prompt. So why don't we try something a little bit more difficult? And I'm going to use Ik ben Daniel. And that's in Dutch, I am Daniel. And that's my name. So let's test this prompt and see what happens. And it responds with NL for the Netherlands or the Dutch language. So I think this is working pretty good. So let's save this custom prompt. And that will mean that this prompt plugin will already be available within Copilot for Microsoft 365 for me. It's saving it now. And after it's done saving, I can try it out. So let's wait a little bit and go to Teams right after. Here we are in Teams. I already opened Copilot. I can click on the icon here and I can select the plugin menu here. Here I have a bunch of plugins available. For now, we're going to use Copilot Studio. And when I open it up, I can see a whole bunch of different plugins. We're not going to use IT Expert. We're going to scroll down a little bit because I need to select the one that we just created. So here we are, language detection. I'm going to enable this one. And here I want to trigger the plugin. So let's try this out. Can you detect the language of the following text? And let's use quotes here. Ik ben Daniel en ik ben senior cloud advocate by Microsoft. This means I am Daniel and I am a senior cloud advocate at Microsoft. Let's see what happens when I send this. Copilot is currently thinking because it's looking at all the different plugins that are available in this environment. And it will look at the input text that I used and it will try to match that together with the uh, plugins that are available. I already enabled developer mode, and this is because I want to show you that it's really triggering the right prompt. And here it says, the language of the text, Ik ben Daniel and Ik ben Senior Cloud Advocate by Microsoft is Dutch. And here we can see that there are only one enabled plugin. There's a match plugin. Here it says that the selected function for the execution is also language detection. And here it also has the function execution details and it shows that it was a success. So here we can see that Copilot for Microsoft 365 can really easily use those prompt plugins and enable you to do certain things that you normally couldn't. Let's end up with some resources. The first link here, aka.ms slash copilot studio slash copilot plugins, will show you the prerequisites for plugins. So this will show you what you need before you can get started with the plugins. There's also a create a prompt link, aka.ms slash copilot studio slash create prompt, and that will guide you through how to create a prompt. And lastly, 
We also have the Power Platform prompts, the examples that I showed in this video, and you can find them at aka.ms slash power dash prompts. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, the links are in the description below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.